Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we are on the uh, third installment here of the uh, cheap eBay uh, body kit uh, that matches the, uh, the STI style that you can get uh, from factory. So uh, last episode we put on the uh, side skirts here and today we're finishing up with the uh, rear spats, okay? Um, same thing with these as the others. Of course, they're all unpainted. You could paint these if you wanted to, to match. It'd be really simple, just scuff them, prime them, paint them whatever color you want. To me, I'm leaving them unpainted uh, because they do match uh, everything else. So for now, we're leaving them. Uh, this rear spat is actually notched. Um, so I'm gonna have to, uh, it's actually notched to fit the exact points um, that's here in the back. And I'll show you here in just a second. Um, so looks like as of now we'll have to have just a screwdriver to get these push pin clips out uh, as well as a, a drill here uh, or an impact I should say uh, the kit of course comes with both rear spats one for each side and a package of self tapping screws uh, looks to be eight screws okay four per side so uh, I'm going to get this thing up on uh, the uh, ramps here. That way I have just a little bit more room to work uh, and we'll get up underneath here in just a second. All right, now that we've got it up here on the ramps, I'm going to bring you around back so you can see a little bit more of what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're back up underneath here. Um, we're going to kind of learn together as we go along here so i know this one we're not going to take out but this one and this one i do know come out um so just take a flathead screwdriver and in any one of these spots try not to get dirt and crap all in your eyes you just kind of wedge this out Okay, so we got both of these out. And like I said, this fits, you'll see this notch right here. It fits right in there. And then that aligns, but we're gonna have an issue because this obviously is not gonna go back up through all of this. And then if I put a screw in there, then that's not gonna fit either. So I'm not entirely for sure how this is supposed to work. I don't know. I guess I could drill this out bigger. I would have to drill both of these out, but I don't know that that's going to reach the whole way through. That's quite a bit of plastic for it to go through. I suppose there's only one way to know, and that's to do it. So hopefully I got a drill bit. I'll punt it up a drill bit. Uh, I couldn't find my step bit. I would, I would definitely recommend a step bit. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's a bit that get it's smaller at the top and then it steps out wider and wider and wider. Um, I definitely recommend that. Uh, I don't have, I can't find mine right now without tearing up a whole bunch of stuff. So, anyways, this bit will work. It's close enough. So, we're gonna go ahead and drill uh, these holes out. All right. So as you can see, I drilled. The front notched hole out as well as this third one we're gonna leave this one small because that's where we're gonna run a screw into so let's make sure that this will fit up in there it may not we may have to widen it out just a little bit more okay no it's gonna fit so we're gonna go ahead and kind of get that somewhat started same thing with the other one here we'll just go ahead and kind of just barely push it in and then let's line it up here and it should go back into the factory slot if we have everything lined up right yeah it's a little it's just a little too deep for it to go that's what she said 
That's my joke. Damn it, Dwight. Oh, there it goes. Okay, no. It fits. Holy cow, you gotta sandwich the crud out of it to get it to fit. But it does fit. So I gotta try to figure out with a screwdriver here how to get to this back and put enough pressure on it. That's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt. <clears throat> Oh, there it goes it fit good news these do pop back in into the factory spots they they are extremely tight okay so you're gonna have to really push in there to get it to lock back in but it does fit anyways we're gonna go ahead and run some screws in here as well so there is already a pre-drilled hole right here we're gonna go ahead and run that in there that'll kind of give a little bit more strength and then i'm gonna put one more back here in the back so the one in the back is pre-drilled, but it's it's pretty big. In all honesty, this probably needs a washer put on it, but it will work. We'll offset it just a little bit. There we go. And there you go, guys. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. That looks pretty sharp. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the other side put on and uh, I'll be back in a second. Well, that's going to be it for the uh, the third part of this installation of the uh, cheap eBay kit. So it's on there now. Looks good. I'm actually I'm I'm really impressed with it. Um, so I'm going to get it down off the uh, off the ramps here and then button everything up, pick up tools, things like that. But uh, anyways, uh, hopefully you guys like this content and that kind of answers some questions that you guys have as far as one how to install it to where you can get it cheap. Uh, because you know we're all on a budget we like to do things as cheap as we can so if you have any questions make sure to ask them down in the comments if there's something that you guys want to see uh, as well let me know and uh, I'll see what I can do about making that happen uh, like the video if it helped you at all and subscribe for uh, more future content that we have coming your way thanks